So, uh, we've been working on this uh, VNA little test board. I've got a couple other videos before this one, so if you haven't seen them, uh, go back in time. Um, so, this came in the mail today. Uh, another shipment from PCBWay. Thank you, PCBWay. Um, the Rev A boards had uh, two issues. One was the uh, PC board is a little thinner than I believed it was supposed to be, and um, I'm sure it's it's perfectly within tolerance for their manufacturing process. But for very very tightly controlled boards, I needed to know the exact thickness. Now you can pay a lot of money for um, uh, impedance controlled boards and stuff, um, but I didn't feel like doing that for these little boards. So I measured the thickness of their uh, standard uh, sheets and it was a little bit thinner than the normal uh, size, or the, not normal size, but it was a little thinner than the size I designed to, I should say it that way. And so now that I know what thickness these are, I went ahead and did a revision to uh, try to make the uh, impedance exactly 50 ohms. So uh, I widened the trace a little bit and I widened the, uh, the gaps a little bit. All right, let's take a look at these new boards. Uh, the other thing I had done was I had them flashed with gold. So these are, uh, uh, these are gold both sides. So they are beautiful and individual little, little wraps here to make sure the gold doesn't scuff. So <laughs> that's pretty cool. Uh, all these little foam, all these little pieces of foam in here. So I got a bunch of boards and, uh, they look beautiful. Now, if you're going to have these made, um, I'll put them on my share site. Uh, on PCB way, I have a bunch of shared um, shared folders and stuff for all kinds of boards that I've done, and I'll put these I'll put this up there. Um, so the only thing that you have to be uh, make sure you do is when you order the boards, make sure you order them uh, 0.8 inches thick, uh, 0.8 millimeters thick. Make sure you do that, and uh, uh, I will try to make sure that the uh, Gerber file doesn't have any solder mask, but you should put in the comment section, no solder mask anywhere, um, just in case they ask or, or they're confused. Um, if you just get the uh, hot air level, the standard process, this works just fine. It costs you a whole lot more money to have the gold ones, but they're very, very nice. Um, so up to you, and those will be available. So uh, I've gone ahead and put one together here. Uh, here's a uh, one of the gold versions that I've put in. Uh, we'll do the through measurement to see if it got any better. And we'll do the uh, 100 uh, picofarad capacitor and see if that got any better. All right, uh, so this is where we left off. Uh, we have the, uh, the uh, tin lead board and we have the capacitor. And if we zoom in, uh, oops, zoomed in too far. Uh, we see that we have some little funniness going right at the high frequencies. We put in some electrical delay. I'll get rid of that. We have this little kink over to the uh, kink over to the left there. Uh, let's see here. Make sure I am. There we go. Kink over to the left and scale. All right, so that's where that one was. Let's let's put in the new one. So this is the uh, the gold plated one. I will put that one in. And I don't think there's any difference at all. I don't think there's any difference at all. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and zoom in a bit. We'll zoom in right here. And what I'll do is I will save this and we will take out the gold board and we will put in the uh, hot air level board and see if there is any difference or not. Let's see. And no. There's not at all. They're just right on top of one another. So I guess it didn't matter so much. I thought it would, but I guess it don't matter so much. Let's go ahead and do uh, just the 50 ohm load all by itself and see 
if we see anything different than last time. This is the 50 on load all by itself. And let's get rid of the, there we go. Let's scale to one and it's the same. I mean, that's, that's the same. We'll do the same thing. Um, let's see here. Electrical delay is zero. We can set the electrical delay to um, to offset that if we want. I think it was about 57 millimeters, something like that. Yeah, now it's completely on the 50 ohm line. Yeah, it's no different at all. So, uh, I guess it doesn't matter if, oh, wait a minute, I was looking, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> we were just looking at the, uh, at the silver board. We weren't looking at the gold board. So, the silver board looks the same as it did last time. That's pretty amazing, huh? All right, now let's put the gold board in. A good reminder of what it looked like last time. Let's put in the gold board and see if there's any difference. And we'll get rid of the electrical delay. And nah, they're the same. So anyway, the gold board didn't do anything. It sure looks pretty though. and. Uh, it's easier to solder to, interestingly enough. It's easier to solder to gold than it is to tin lead, so that's kind of weird. Um, but anyway, I've got a bunch of boards, and the reason I bought them was for me to do a bunch of experiments and learn. Um, I know a little bit of RF, but I don't know a lot about RF, and uh, something like this will help me with doing experiments and playing with the VNA and learning even more. So I think what I need to learn is these electrical links and what happens when you cal at one plane and measure a, a different plane, whether the electrical offsets are enough to calibrate all that stuff out or not, or whether it's better to calibrate some other way. I, I just don't know. Um, and like I said, that's one of the reasons I bought the boards. And so I'll make the boards available if you want to play with them. And uh, yeah. If I come up with some clever experiments, I'll do some future videos on that. Or if people have ideas uh, down in the comment section, let me know. And I'll, I'll, uh, I'm usually pretty responsive to asking, uh, answering people's questions or uh, doing experiments that I think will benefit everybody. Um, yeah. All right. Hope you enjoyed that.